Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I hope you guys are having a very great week so far. If you clicked on this video then you most likely have been wondering if you should buy the more affordable wallet option or if you should splurge a little bit more on your favorite designer wallet that you've been eyeing for a very very long time. And I'm here to hopefully help you with this decision that you are about to make. So let's get into the video. Okay so let me show you guys the wallet that I have now versus the wallet that I had a couple of years ago. So this is my wallet now and this is the Victorine wallet from Louis Vuitton. And these are the wallets that I had right before I bought this one and these are both Michael Kors wallets. And after trying both of these out and not just these but I also had like some really really cheap like Urban Outfitters wallet before I got these so I can definitely give my honest opinion on all of these so let me just start off by telling you guys what led up to my decision in switching from these wallets to this wallet so I purchased both of these guys back in about maybe 2016 2017 and it was right when I started working my actual like grown-up job and I thought since I started my first grown-up job, I wanted a nicer wallet who would carry around all my stuff in because I wanted to feel a little bit more grown-up. <laughs> so, so I did my research and I actually picked this one up first because it was a pretty good size and it was during the time where I carried around a little bit more cash but I wanted something with a lot of pockets and I wanted something that looked very sleek. This was one of my first grown-up purchases and I was very, very proud of it because I worked for it myself and I purchased it and it was over $100 at the time, I believe. So I was very proud of this wallet. And then I decided to get this one right afterwards because I realized when I used to go out, I used to like to carry around small purses because obviously you don't want to bring a big purse to the bar or to anything like that. So I needed a smaller wallet than this one to carry around all my stuff. And that's when I picked this one up. So this one is perfect for smaller bags. It fits into everything. Now, the problem that I came across when I was using both of these wallets is number one when i was switching between bags i would forget certain things in this wallet that i needed to transfer over to this wallet and i would just completely forget about it or i would forget that this wallet is in one of my smaller bags and then i would pick up my bigger bag to go to work and this wallet would have nothing transferred over to it so i wanted a wallet that was more all in one so a couple of years later i decided to do a little bit more research and actually find a wallet that did the job of both of these in one so that's why i picked this one up now when i say a few years later i mean like a few years later so I bought this one, like I said, like 2016. So I purchased this one around 2019 because it was a couple of years later. I started making a little bit more money and I wanted to treat myself to something nice. So why not start off with a wallet? Now, if you have the same mindset that I have, then this is definitely gonna be right for you because sometimes we just wanna treat ourselves and treating yourself doesn't necessarily mean spending a lot of money on a wallet. Treating yourself can mean going from an Urban Outfitters $20 wallet to a hundred and something dollar wallet just like this one it just depends on your level of how comfortable you are spending money and how much you can spend so to me I wanted to treat myself and I bought my first designer item which was this wallet so like I said I wanted something that did the job of both of these wallets in one and this one was absolutely perfect for me so when you open it up, of course, it looks like a little envelope because it's envelope style. And when you open it up, it has literally everything. So it has a compartment for all of your bills. It has all of these card slots. And then it also has a little compartment right here for your change. Just everything that I wanted and that I needed in a very compact wallet. It's so small. It fits into every single one of my bags and I don't have to transfer anything from wallet to wallet and forget certain things. So it actually became the most perfect switch for me. So how do I feel about switching from these wallets to this wallet? Well, let me compare these for you. So let's start off with my very first wallet purchase. So this is the Michael Kors Mercer multifunction phone wallet. This one is $118. Comes in about six to colors is what I saw online um, but I got the black with the gold hardware it's leather all around the outside on the wristlet and 
on the inside except the very inside right here actually has polyester lining the lining is actually also rfid blocking it has six different card slots and it has a id slot right here it has a coin compartment right here and then it has a section right here where you can put your phone because this is actually supposed to be multifunctional. so you're supposed to be able to put your phone in here but i've never used that for my phone i've used it for cash because my phone has always been too big to fit into this wallet so i use that compartment for cash now my second wallet so this is the mercer coin purse and this one was 58 dollars so literally almost half the price of the bigger one this one is also made up of leather all around except for the inside of it is also polyester lined it has two different compartments right here for cards and then it has an id slot it also has this one random pocket right here and then like i just showed you it has this compartment for change or for receipts or for whatever else you need and it also comes with a little key holder so you can put your keys on here and then whenever you need them you just pull them out and be good to go this one is five inches wide and comes in about seven different colors i believe is what i saw online and it also has rfid lining so that nobody can steal your card information next let's get into the victorine wallet so this one is 570 dollars and i know it's like four or five times the price of the wallets that I had before. So I got the Victorine wallet in all over monogram with the brown interior and the gold hardware. So this one is actually canvas all around and the inside is cowhide leather. Like I said, it's envelope style. It is about 4.7 inches wide. So when looking at these side by side, these two are actually almost the same exact size. So when I, what I was looking for with sizing with a new wallet, I found in this one because it's literally the same exact size and it carries as much as this wallet does right here. So that's amazing. So when it comes to wear and tear, which is definitely going to be an important factor when it comes to choosing the wallet that you guys want, let me go through it. So like I said, I had these wallets for maybe around three years and this is all of the wear and tear that these actually had. So the leather, perfectly fine on this one. I have like no scratches at all on the leather. There is also no damage on the inside, no wear and tear. It was actually, it actually held up very, very well. So I was so happy about that. But I will say when it comes to the gold hardware, there was a lot of discoloration so like i'll come up very close to you guys so you guys can see but like in the little zipper section the gold is actually turning silver and there are a lot of scratches all over it right here where the wristlet is is turning silver as well especially where there's a lot of rubbing um, on the hardware the gold color comes right off because it's gold coated or it's just painted to look gold but it rubs off right away and it turns silver there's a lot of scratches all over it as well when it comes to the logo you can't really see it too much because the logo is pretty small but it's also starting to turn a little bit silver on certain letters but overall this one held up a lot better than this one so when it comes to this one you can definitely see a lot more scratching on the leather on the outside and i believe it probably has to do more with the color difference so this one you can see a lot more like scratching all over the leather all over especially on this side because this is where a lot of like a lot of the action was when it comes to taking out and putting in your cards this one has a lot more and then the same thing with the gold hardware it's scratched up it's turning silver and the color is just completely coming off something that's happening to this one that did not happen to the other one is that since i don't know if it's because this one is smaller but the corners of this wallet is actually kind of creasing and it's not looking it's not looking good and then the same thing with the logo it's starting to get discolored as well which is something that i am not really a fan of i love small leather goods that have gold hardware so the fact that it's rubbing off i just did not like that besides that everything else was perfectly fine like the inside looks fine 
so this one definitely held up a lot better than this one for some reason now i've had this wallet for a little bit over a year the only wear and tear that this one has so far is that in this little button right here it got scratched up right away literally the first few months that i actually used this wallet it started getting scratched up on the button but it has no other problems whatsoever i can show you guys there is literally no scratching on the inside the canvas is perfectly fine it looks almost brand new it looks almost exactly how how it looked a year ago when i bought it except for the little scratching on the button so should you spend less and pick up a more affordable wallet option to hold your money or should you splurge on the luxury slg that you have been eyeing for such a long time was it worth it for me it was worth it for me because this is something that i've been eyeing for a very very long time and it's something that i saved up my money for so i feel a lot better being able to purchase it because i know i worked for it i know it was my own money and i know how hard i worked in order to get all the things that I've been getting. So as a treat, I made myself very proud when I purchased this. I feel like in the long run, this will definitely hold up for so many more years to come without having too much problems with like scratching or discoloration or anything like that. The canvas, the inside lining, it's gonna be perfectly fine in the years to come and it holds every single thing that I need in one. It's literally the perfect wallet that I've been looking for for a very long time. This was a great starter wallet and so was this one, but like I said, there's too many problems that I started to notice after a while when it comes to like the scratching and the colors and then the gold hardware starting to rub off. But it comes with the price tag that you pay if you're not looking for all that and you just want something that's gonna hold your money and you want something that might last, then go ahead and spend less. I would recommend getting one of these in black instead of choosing one of like the brighter colors. Definitely sit down and think about it. No matter what purchase you make, just make sure that it is the best for you. And I hope that I was able to help you guys with your decision making. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you like my video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then I hope you consider subscribing down below as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.